Karen Mayor Lightfoot says the state of Texas is planning to once again start busing migrants to Chicago starting tomorrow. Tonight, the mayor is begging Texas Governor Greg Abbott not to send more migrants north. Police stations across the city have become something like provisional homes. Families of migrants with nowhere else to turn, some pregnant and nursing sick children are huddled on the cold, hard floors of police lobbies. It has become overwhelming for us because we ran out of places for them. We are, we are averaging uh, 125 migrants per day. We expect, again, those numbers to grow significantly, drastically. City officials say more than 8,000 migrants have arrived in Chicago since August, when Texas Governor Greg Abbott abruptly began sending busloads of migrants from the border to Chicago without warning or any collaboration. In a letter tonight, Mayor Lightfoot wrote to Governor Abbott, I am again appealing to your better nature and asking that you stop this inhumane and dangerous action. This is a, a political fight and they're using this these migrants or these refugees as pawns and it shouldn't be like that. Lightfoot's lengthy letter goes on to acknowledge that Chicago is at quote a critical tipping point in our ability to receive individuals and families in a safe orderly and dignified way. We simply have no more shelters spaces or resources to accommodate an increase of individuals at this level. The city only expects this emergency to grow more dire when the pandemic era policy known as Title 42 expires next week. We have now uh, at least 40,000 uh, refugees that are waiting at the border uh, who will be um, likely, uh, many of them, coming to Chicago and the city still does not have a plan. We have been asking, we already presented a plan back in September and the city still has not acted. City budget officials said Friday they estimate Chicago will need more than $20 million a month just through June to support the influx of migrants. While $800 million of federal money from FEMA has been earmarked for the migrant crisis nationwide, none of it has been dispersed to Chicago yet. We're a city that welcomes migrants. We should have welcome centers for them and we should be more prepared for the future. One older person said city officials met again in an emergency meeting today and have asked members of city council to try and come up with places in their wards that could serve as any kind of shelter. But as the mayor points out in her letter tonight, she says this is a national crisis that will require national collaboration, including that money promised by the federal government. Karen. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.